Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Eternal Hour Golden Hour. Oh, bright light. We arrived at the beach pretty quickly. Oh, hello. Megumi changed into her swimsuit faster than me. How fast are we talking about? Anik fast? Hey, Rin. What is that thing over there? The long? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Over where? Wait, Megumi. Don't just walk off the path. Wait, we, we just start walking? I'm just, I was just looking. I shouldn't leave her alone out here. Whoa, is this a cave entrance? Why are you coming with me? I'm the explorer punk. I've never seen it before. Oh. Right in front of us, the ground parts into a sinister looking entryway. It blends in with the surrounding area so well. I'm surprised that Megumi could spot it from afar. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Is this place off limits or restricted? I don't think so. Most people just stay on the beach. We got lost in conversation and walked really far. Oh. This is interesting. Are you up for a little exploring? Yeah. Any exploring. Maybe, but we don't have a flashlight. You know, if you're scared, you can hold my hand. <gasps> yes. Wh what? That yes? Aw, she's so cute when she gets flustered. I, I'm not scared. Let's go in. And yet, she didn't get the hint. Well, if she's okay with it, let's get inside. I don't know why my heart is racing so fast. I'm not going to back down now. Yeah, don't back down now. Back down is always an option. Back down, back wow. in. Wow! This place is amazing! Oh! Donkers and the, uh, the big, uh, gaping hole over there. Whoa! As rays of light shine in from a hole in the cave ceiling, we are struck by a wondrous fantastic sight. Most of the interior is made up of glinting minerals, reflecting the light that slips through the opening in the ceiling. There are no signs of any recent human activity. Last time people went here were in this cave must have been centuries ago. A trickle of water flows through the center, making a light rippling sound that echoes off the walls. All around the cave, small pillars have formed, both protruding up from the floor and hanging from the ceiling. Megumi starts examining them, dazzled by their beauty. Is this... ice? I don't think so. Diamond. As I slide my finger across the surface of a pillar for the sake of curiosity, I notice that the glossy surface easily gives way. I'm left with a small tra with all traces on my fingertip. It doesn't feel cold. I'll just lick my fingers, see how it tastes. Hmm. Uh, it's salt. Oh, that makes sense. This town was founded by salt miners who dug in the old wasteland. Wouldn't you have smelled it to actually smell that too? Interesting. Hidden treasures. Do you think we're the first people to see this? To find hidden treasures? I approve. I doubt we are, but I'd like to think so. Suddenly I've become all too aware of the fact that the two of us are alone here. Oh my. In this place that seems so magical, sharing this special moment. Looking at her now, I'm starting to feel a strange desire to be closer to her. My hand feels strangely empty, as if it holds a void that can only be filled by hers. You know, if you want, we can... Okay. Uh, oh, okay? Did... did... did she hear what I said? 
proposed? Megumi's fingers are sliding across my wrist. Her hand is so soft and warm. Her warmth in my palm, giving me a rush of happiness. A kind of joy I've never felt before. I want more. I want her. Megumi's the only thing on my mind right now. Rin. Yes, Megumi? I don't know how to say this, but... It's okay. I feel the same way. <gasps> really? That was fast. This is it. I gently get closer to her and place my lips on Megumi's. As the moment approaches, I realize the truth. This girl. Unbelievably beautiful, kind, passionate girl. He's the one. I've been waiting for this lo so long without even knowing. Instinct instinctually, I push forward, my passion leading the way to heavenly bliss. Then, as I feel Megumi jerk back in hesitation, I pull away for a moment to give her more time to prepare. Then I press forward once more, this time more slowly. Megumi doesn't pull away, meeting me halfway after strengthening her own resolve. The moment our passions finally collide, my mind is blown away by the motions cascading from within me. I feel her hot breath, I smell her sweet scent. I taste the lovely tang of her lips. Every part of the experience is so far beyond my expectations. We've known each other for only a few months now, but we've been spending all of our days together. I never thought that love could find people in such bleak times. My brother's dead, and I'm raising his child and no job. But even through all the suffering, I've fallen in love with Megumi. It means more to me right now than my own life ever did. I've never felt this way before anyone before and probably won't ever again. But it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. Now that we are together. I've never had a lover before and I never understood why everyone wanted me to get one. It wasn't necessarily impossible even if I never had much interest. But, meeting someone like Megumi, I want someone like her in my life. Not just as a friend, but something more. The word love dances in my mind. Can I tell her that? Will she understand? I do worry a bit about how everyone else will react to us. A small stubborn town like this, they're never allowed a relationship like ours. So, for now, it's just about the two of us. Megumi, Shimizu, and Rin, Fujimoto. In this precious moment, nothing else matters. We remain in the cave for some time, embracing and watching the sky through the opening in the ceiling. Neither of us speaks a word as we stand here together. My head feels so light. Aww. Wow. That was beautiful. He actually did it in within like a few days, right? No, it, was, it said a month. But still, like. Wow. This. That blossom. I mean. Wow. Not knowing each other, and then all of a sudden it's like, they're together, talking all the time, being with each other. Then this happened. So beautiful. What happened after that, I don't really remember. I wake, I wake up back on the beach. It is already dark outside, and the glimmers of stars are reflected in the sea. It is probably time I go home. Megumi must have left without me. Really? I doubt that. It's been a few hours since then, but I haven't heard from her yet. Oh no. 
I check my phone and the only thing I see is a faint message from Megumi saying simply sorry. Sorry for what? What? Sorry? That's that's not the word you want to Panic in invades my mind as I try to write something back. I tell her that it's fine and I tried to call her cell phone, but there's no answer. I'm lost. I don't know what happened or why she's not answering. Oh no. Oh, that was the worst kiss ever. Oh. I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. We find out in the next episode what happened. Oh man. Very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications. Thank you everybody for watching again and you will hear me the next one. Bye!